And so, with the T-Birds and Violators tied at 80 at the end of regulation, here very simply are the two rules of sudden death overtime. Specially designated Gator skaters can win it for their team in one of two ways. By simply winning a six-lap sprint or by tossing the other team's Gator skater into the pit. David Sams has gone down to trackside. Chuck, it's unbelievable down here. Look at those Gators. There are four of them in the pits. There are three seven-footers and one big ten-footer known as Roller Gator. There he is right there. Look at those teeth. Both teams have been cleared to the outside of the track. They are lining the rail, cheering on their designated Gator skaters. And here we go in sudden death. Each skater wearing a ceremonial sudden death hood. We don't know how they're going to play it, but they're now showing us that rather than win the lap, they're going to try to wrestle each other over that rail and into the pit. On the first lap, neither seems to be getting any leverage. So, no, they'll clear out and try a second lap. T-Bird twins looking on. And again, as they approach the pit, the wrestling begins. Down goes the T-Bird Gator Skater. Now the, now the Violator's got him by the shirt. He's got him up to the rail. He's pulling him up. Oh, the T-Bird went in. Fight that Gator. Get away from him. It could be devastating. Get that man out of the pit. I can't believe what we're witnessing here tonight. Chuck, you know, I saw the skull distract that T-Bird Skater. I believe that these Violators have cheated. But they have won in sudden death overtime. Come on, get out of there, buddy. A victory lap for the Violator, a roll over the top, apparently uninjured for the T-Bird Gator Skater. The Commissioner's Cup goes to the team in black.